and we're off. Okay, I've been trying to work out a way to use up sawdust and shavings from wood turning and I've started making these pucks from the waste that I make when I'm wood turning on the lathe. It's a mixture of sawdust and paper and I'll show you how I make that. Very simple really. I just leave shredded newspaper sitting for two or three days to let it absorb lots of water and then give it a stir with one of these plaster mixers. Then I mix half of that pulp with half a bucket of sawdust and give it the same mix. Now, this is the machine I built to press the pucks out. I'm not an engineer, so these are just my designs, but they've been developed from videos I've seen on YouTube, and particularly the Peterson Press video. This is a horizontal version of that. Now, the slurry goes into this tube. There's a three ton bottle jack here that compresses this ram. The ram squeezes the water out, and then I can remove the end, put this piece in, and eject the pucks into that. The cylinder is a 1 8th sewer pipe. They recommend schedule 40 water pipe, but I can't get that. The worst that can happen here is that the pipe will split. I have drilled 5 millimeter holes to allow water out faster and it seems to work. The worst can happen is it'll split and the stuff will come out. There can't be an explosion because there's nothing being compressed and contained. The pipe sits on this form at the end and it's offset to allow the pipe to sit level inside the machine. A piece of PVC tube goes inside that and if I can find my one of these scoops is about enough to make a puck. I use lots of water because it makes it a lot easier to get the stuff settled in the bottom. Then I made a spacer out of the bottom of a flower pot. And this is for compacting. The ram is, well in a previous life it was a sleeve from a shock absorber in a car and I just turned a couple of um, ends to form the ram. There's a hole here to allow this tube to go through and then I just compress as much water out as I can. It saves pumping. This piece is not perfected yet, it's very hard to get these to form properly, but we'll give it a go.
farm. I leave those in the greenhouse for about, well, two weeks. Seems to be about the amount of time, but I'm in Ireland, so it takes a lot of time to dry stuff in the sun because we're not blessed with a lot of it. So that's basically the process. Everything I've done has been done from the internet and from my own ideas. I'm not an engineer. If you copy this and get hurt, don't take the house off me because it's your own fault. Thank you.